gonna shake your booties for black girl nerds. I'm Tora Shea with Black Girl Nerds. How you doing? Hey, Hi, what's up? <laughs> Thanks so much for doing this interview, and thank you for your work on this film. It was amazing, mm -hmm. and you guys are amazing, and all that stuff. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so, about the film, mm -hmm. um, it was a super, super serious film, and it's so important for the climate going on right now, and Obviously, I know that you put so much into it. How did you, like, go home and not be super serious? <laughs> How did you go home and be people? You know, just, just thinking about us having the privilege of being able to say something. Mm. You know what I mean? Because being black, like, <laughs> the fear of your own speech is is a lot. You know what I mean? Like, just looking at what people went through in history, you know what I mean? Like, one minute you say people got freedom of speech, and the next minute you get smacked in the mouth, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's a big situation. So just knowing that we had the privilege to be able to say something and that we that part of history that people <laughs> gonna be like, they did that, you know? Like, that's, it's the best feeling in the world. Exactly. So you feel like, Person, you feel a lot of personal responsibility in your career to be a mouthpiece? Exactly. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, you know, we were speaking earlier about social media and, 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 and how that's, you know, either going to be a plus side of this generation or a downside when it comes to social injustice. But what's really interesting is that we have our voice through that, but as artists, sometimes we're, we're so muted by the big corporations, they don't want us to be too radical or, you know, this and that. But this film gave us an opportunity to actually speak out and and uh, do something, right. yeah. really do something for our people. Yeah, keep it classy. Exactly. Yeah, keep it classy. Real. Exactly. Keep real. Keep it classy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, your character in particular, how do you think your character will be perceived by the world? Um, I know that a lot of times when we have someone in real life, I mean, obviously this is based on a true story, but a lot of times people make excuses for when someone is killed by the police. Mm -hmm. How do you think people are going to respond? I think um, just to, given the facts, I think people will be taken back by it, but I think that uh, it's, it's gonna sting a little. You know, because you get a chance to fall in love with Carl. You get a chance to, you know, see innocence at its best. You know what I mean? And you, you, you get to see this world where it, this shouldn't even really be taking place. You know, and you see somebody get taken advantage of in a place that they feel safe. And just at that moment, everybody like, okay. All right, now see, this is a lot that's happening, you know? And black, white, Chinese, purple, whatever you are, you know what I mean? Like, you will definitely feel that, you know what I mean? You feel like, you just feel robbed. You, do. you really feel yeah. robbed. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.